Hello beautiful people, you're welcome back to the Mini Me Lifestyle channel. If this is your first time stopping by, you are most definitely welcome. And if this is not your first time and you've come back again to watch my video, thank you for being so consistent. Thank you so much and um, you're loved. Like, I love you so much. You know, people should really get in your intro. <laughs> I'm getting tired of saying, come, come to Anyway, um, today's video is one of my best, most amazing designs yet. Like, I love this design with a passion. Because the day before the design, when we were supposed to go in store, I was so excited. I could not sleep well. Like, the way I really, really love that design. I've done the safari thing before, but we didn't have a big budget, so we had to manage you know, what we have and all that. But this time around, like, we had a very large budget. Like, the budget was enough. I, you know, I could play around, I could be more creative. Uh, and it came out extremely beautiful, like, beautiful. So, um, the other day, Mrs. Ibro called me and said she wanted a nursery for a child and baby girl in money but she didn't want something that was girly she wanted something gender neutral something that is just not typical so when she went on our website she saw a lot of uh, things that were up for grabs and she chose the safari thing and when she told me that okay you know what just give me something I was like okay what's your budget which is one of the questions I always ask my clients she said I don't have a budget just give me what you think is best and we went ahead and guess what we count it. So on the first day, what we did was we first of all started with the painting. The idea was to uh, normally my installation take about two days, but this one we painted. The artwork took us three days to finish. We create we uh, we created a safari wall, which was going to be our statement wall. Uh, our f first and foremost, the wall in the house was perfect already. It was already painted white, uh, not white, more like eggshell color, not pure white. And so we had the painting on it, so when we came, we just got right to work. What we did was, we first of all painted the, there's one part of the wall where I wanted the co baby cut to be. And on that wall, it took us about three days to finish, we did the most beautiful jungle uh, painting on that wall. It was amazing like we had it water we added green leaves and everything and then because of the brief they also wanted their nanny to be in that room so i was going to do something that would still be childlike and the nanny would also be very very comfortable in it so they had like an old bed they had some old furniture that they didn't want to throw away and they wanted to use for the nanny so we took their six by seven bed that they already had in the room for the nanny and we spray painted it white with the ottoman uh, chair right in front of it okay so we refurbished some of their old furnitures and we got up we, we upholstered the um the ottoman in front of the bed to a very beautiful green to match the rocking chair uh we also did something really different with the floors i had the floors changed we got a carpet because the floor is really big and I wanted something that would be safe for the child and the floors were in marble. So you know children now once they start to become very extraordinary, let me use that word, and they become, they want to move around and everything. I didn't want a situation where by for whatever you think she falls, I don't want her to eat that air. So we did proof the place and what we did was we put in some foam under the, on the floor before we now put up the carpet on top of it. Uh, you know I do this a lot, so because I really like to put safety into consideration when I'm trying to make a very beautiful room. Also, the reason for using the four wooden carpets, of course, for the baby's room is because we are going with the safari theme. We all know that the wooden accent is big, right? So we had to put the wooden accent in there so that it would, you know, it would make sense. And the door in the room is already made with pine wood, which was perfect so the floors just slid slid right into the space and we actually changed the space from what it was looking like to something totally different i was 
was trying very hard to put in the wooden accent because it's very very important like what's what's a jungle without the trees right so there has to be that wooden accent has to be there so um we got this cut we made this cut uh it has pine wood in between and we painted uh the outer corners it's so gorgeous so what we did is on the second day of installation we came in and then we fit in the furniture which includes the cot, the um, dresser, and the rocking chair. We also set up the nanny bed, and then there was like yeah, an Ottoman stool, more more like a bench, an Ottoman bench in front of it, which also has storage. Of course, you know we had already refurbished the bed to match the thing that we were going with. We decorated the bed uh, with this really nice, the nanny's bed, with this really nice bed. The on the bed sheet was white, and then the duvet on top. I had this. I got this really nice bed. Uh, it had the tropical leaves on it to match the jungle vibe, and it really killed the nanny's bed. We also moved to the other side of the room, which is the baby's bed. I used some white. Um, I used some white bed sheets on the bed, and then we put in some of our really beautiful stuffies, Mr. Piggy. The teddy bear, you know, all the things that just make the um, bed very, very attractive and comfortable. And then I used this jungle lemon green um, blanket and put it on the bed to also give it that vavavum look that I'm always looking for. We moved on, and I had this really nice frames made. When I wanted to get the, when, when I wanted to start with the project, and I was thinking about getting frames. Normally we just go and make all these uh, normal frames that we make, which is also beautiful by the way. But I really wanted to stay true to the safari thing and I wanted something unique. So I had my workers make these really nice frames made with the pine wood. And I also had the same finish as the pine wood that was used with the, on the cut. And then of course I put in my um, the pictures I wanted to place in it. Like a six frame set which talks about how to be kind, to stand tall, to be happy, you know, all the really nice words that you want to tell your kid. Right under there we had the dresser. This dresser is just a place where you change like the changing station where you change your baby. Uh, we had I decorated it with some stuffed animals, the the um the beautiful elephant because I put in a lot of animals here and there to also stay through to my safari thing. And we moved on to the mommy's corner. I created this really nice mommy's corner for uh, my client. Of course, she would want to read to her baby, you know, having that cozy time when she puts down the curtains, you know, there's this really nice lamp that she already had. So we helped her put it together and then put it in that room right beside the really fabulous rocking chair uh, that also has a food stool. Then uh, right above her, I will put in two floating shelves. This floating shelves has also that has that wood in her scent. And then I used green leaves that I bought um, when I went shopping. I got this really nice green leaves. I mixed it, uh, I put it into string lights and I used it to decorate the place where the floating shelves were. And I put in uh, books right in the shelf. So anytime she's ready to read her baby, all she needs to do is just reach up, take one of these books, sit down and have a very cozy moment with baby until she sleeps off on the rocking chair. Uh, the light is also nice when she puts up every other place. She can put it on the lamp if she wants to keep the whole place cool and still be able to read to her baby. I created this really fabulous storage function because before we started, uh, she had we were trying to reuse as much things as we could um, because we didn't want them to go to waste. Of course, you have these things, you don't want them to waste, so we tried to reuse them and to repurpose them to something else. So what we did was, um, there was this nice um, thing that he had. He had like steel, he was made with steel and a board. So we we changed it and made another thing out of it. We created an open shelf for her. So I got some really nice baskets, about four wooden baskets, and I used it for a story solution. So anytime she's ready to want to organize things and to just store some of the things, she can always take that out. It's so it's 11 feet deep, 
and 11 feet wide so it is quite big and can take a lot of things I even had to put in some of the stuffed toys I bought because I didn't want to make a mess of things in the room remaining part of the space was decorated beautifully I put it in Moni's picture I got this really nice frame from this lady on Instagram dates and memories and dates and memories and I used that frame uh, of course you have to put in some personal effects I always like to have that personal touch in any design that I make so in this case I just had a home set with some of our baby pictures I had them printed and I put it into the frame and I put it on, on, on the shelves I added some other things which is some beautiful things like sweet baby you know because she's a girl of course there has to be some touches of pink in there just to you know let them people know that hey, a baby girl lives here lives here a princess lives here so we had some touches of uh with the stuffed toys and some things just to match you know to beautify that particular corner and then we finished off the look with this fabulous fabulous rug this rug is the bomb in fact i call it the reflective rug this rug is so good that it actually changes color you know when you're coming into the room it has this um, brown and black vibe like animal skin it looks like animal skin when you're coming in to so also match that you know the sci-fi thing i said that already then when you move to the other side of the room it has this really nice um like brass gold feeling cream it's really nice, it's very beautiful. If you are interested in any of the products I've mentioned here, all you need to do is go to www.minimi.com.ng, click on it, and you know, scout my page. You will definitely see all this product right there. Thank you. God bless you. Bye bye. See you in my next one.